Hi everyone, welcome back to this Matic World. In today's video, I will show you step by step how to use the Proteus 9 for circuit simulation, perfect for beginners. By the end of this video, you will be able to design and simulate your first circuit easily on the Proteus Design 9.0. That's the new version. So their interface is a little bit changed. Don't worry, we go through everything. First of all, you need to be click on the new project. Now here you need to be set your name. That's the new project name. I don't be change it, but you can change it uh, according to your uh, project. And that's the location. You can also change it. So that's the new project. So tick mark on it. Click on next. And uh, don't be change anything uh, in here. That's just the uh, landscapes like pages according to them then default it's okay click on next layout uh, we create but if you want to be create a pc layout then create a pc layout for arduino you know raspberry pi or by default you can go with default but i click on don't be create a pcb layout and then click on the uh, firewall project yeah. it's not related to any kind of firmware projects so that's why no firmware projects click on next again and now we only have the schematic we don't have the layout we don't have the firmware okay now click on finish what go through uh, now first of all we go through uh, the interface their interface is changed if you may be using the 8.1 or 8.2 or maybe 7 then their interface is a little bit um, same identical okay but right now the proteus 9 interface is totally changed so if you want to be download see how you can download that or claim the trial then you watch the video on my channel okay i have the video where i show you the complete steps okay, how you can claim the trial okay uh, now we stick to our topic here we want to see okay, how their interface is a little bit changed um, first of all their icons colors are changed and their color schemes of change of that software and second of all their positions are changed somewhere okay that is the uh, main component slide okay uh, where we can choose the components where we select the component okay there are a lot of uh, things here right now uh, but uh, some things are missing like the uh, if you want to be for oscilloscope for dc voltmeter and this kind of uh, measurement or uh, we say that measurements related uh, components are missing so for this thing click right click on this bar anywhere in that bar then configure the toolbar is open and here you see the view the toolbar edit the toolbar and design the toolbar okay. toolbar visibility click on all and also click on expand the sub mode icon group click on okay now you see these extra sub components are also open in front of us where instruments um, there is the probes there is our so there's our graph so everything which you say okay maybe that's missing in the proteus 9 but in that way you can assess it after um, we start with the basic circuit how we can do it uh, so uh, first of all I, I again mention one more thing uh, if i click on it and if you want you can pin it so it's pin because in the previous variants it's automatically pin but here you can unpin and pin again and again okay so it's on you if you want open or if you want to be it's uh, when you're not using it then that window is uh, deactivated or just be hide okay uh, now we choose the component so for choosing the component you need to be click on there and choose the component from here okay so now there is the components and for this project i need simple the led first of all it's very important so i just be choose the purple led and here i need a battery so uh, dc voltage that's the dc voltage source i choose from here and i need the resistor now because that is the beginner tutorial where i uh, main motive is just to be introduce you with the proteus knife that's the main motive so click on it and also you see this uh, other things are same the selection of the component is same right now so i just be simply click on it uh, now we start to be placing the components 
now these are the components when you first time select a component from the library from their uh, pick from the libraries then these components are visible here so here you can also uh, apply some categories like start with and contains and end with in that way so now uh, here is also the search bar where you can search these components if you have a lot of list here but that's not a big list simply place a battery place the LED and place a one register here and for other register I again choose it and here I just be rotated and place it here okay so I just be uh, show you how you can do the things and then uh, that's the selection tool like we said that zoom to the area tool where I just be mark this area and then that whole area is zooming uh, now the wiring tool you don't need to be choose a wiring wiring tool for the proteus because it's by default each time wiring tool when you come on the canvas and i hope so you know the canvas that that portion that's portion graph like portion is canvas okay so in that way we can do the wiring simply from one terminal to the other terminal of the other component from well, I mean, the wiring is very cool in the proteus it's not complicated it's very easy you can do very easily so now that's the simple wiring of that circuit now after wiring i just be choose this selecting tool because selection tool is very important and uh, now in the selection tool i use that selection tool for changing the values so that's the 12 volt i double click on it that's the left double click um, from the mouse and there's the voltage so i can change the voltage from 12 volt to the 9 volt battery because i want 9 volt battery maybe my circuit which i want to be simulate is 9 volt okay that is the resistor of um, 100 we say that that's the 10k resistor and i simply want that is the 200 and 20 simple ohm for ohm you don't need to be put anything but for kilo you need to be put k maybe it's capital it's small it's not matter for mega m if you put the small m then it is milli if you put this uh, we say that um, pico p okay so in that way you can uh, make uh, the units okay maybe it's mega it's it's milli so it's depend on the alphabets which you put there after that we click on ok and that parallel resistor that parallel resistor is only just reduce the current which is going to uh, this LED okay um, it's also because that's dividing the voltage and that's for more production and so it's smaller one maybe simply 10 ohm that's more protection more accurate circuit for led protection okay uh, now um, after that i need the ground because ground is important that's the ground uh, from the terminals you choose a ground okay there's the power labels this is ground so i hope so okay if you want uh, to be under understand the complete tutorial so if the playlist is existing on my channel but it is it's focus in the urdu or, or maybe hindi language you say uh, but it's focus the uh, previous one 8 over you know 8.2 so that's why that's video is just for nine warrior now here i just be uh, grounded it okay that's say it's grounded ground is very important in the case of ac simulations when you deal with the ac circuits then it's very important because when you deal with the ac circuits uh, then you need to be mentioned which is grounded which is not um, otherwise the simulation give you the errors so now that's our complete circuit we simply run it our led is not working okay i again close it um uh go uh, not so much current moving toward the led that's why it's not glowing so i just be reduced that from 110 ohm and again run it um, uh, i just be increase the ohms because all the current are moving uh, from this terminal it's moving toward the r2 because the resistance is so low and the led resistance because they they also have the internal resistance if you double click on the led then you see this the full drive current 10 milliampere you need so that's current is not passing in that terminal that's where uh, you don't miss any kind of um, the glow so that's where i just be reduced it's 110 and that's the 100 ohm resistor in the parallel for this led so now this uh, led is glowing right now 
if your circuit is in the running condition then you don't be change anything so for this thing you need to be close it uh, but uh, there are the different portions are uh, different options also like pause so it's just pause the circuit okay so that's like the steps so if you may be uh, doing any kind of simulation where we have the clock which have the clocks so then it's very important at once it's just be showing you the next clock next clock next clock next cycle maybe you say and that's the pause button and that's the running button and that's just stop button for simulation now from the instrument i want to see the dc ampere because i want to be see which kind of current how much current is moving from uh, for this terminal which is running this led so for you know that dc if, uh, if you want to be measure the current then you need to be first of all uh, disconnect the wire because it's in the series that dc current or maybe ac current for both Thing, you need to be connect the meter into the series so that's where I just been disconnected and then I just wire again right now you see it's in the series uh, and one important thing uh, okay first of all I run that circuit okay you see it's 0 0.04 ampere okay that's a very important change also uh, into the previous um, variants uh, I, I may be mentioned very right in the previous variants uh, the amperes like when you measuring the current which is maybe into the amperes but in your circuit it's maybe in milliampere then they show zero 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 because it's not measuring it if maybe it is into the milliampere then it's show you but if it's in the lower uh, units then it's not show you uh, so for this thing into the double click on it and here you say display range amperes so you can change it into the kilo ampere milliampere and micro ampere so if i go with the milliampere now my display range is milliampere click on it and now if i zoom in you see this is the ma milliampere so right now the currents are measured in the milliampere so now we run it you see 37.6 more precise value you see 37.6 milliampere current are passing um, in that <laughs> led now again stop it if you want to be uh, measure the voltage how much voltage across that uh, parallel relation so now we simply run it it's 2.31 volt so for voltage also uh, i just stop it again so for voltage uh, there is also the display range okay display range kilovolt millivolt and microvolt and uh, here you see the load resistance it's 100 m so you can change it if you um, it's depend on your project by by default it's 100 m so simply i run it okay that's the current and that's the voltage i just be open this uh, tutorial for related to triple five uh, we have the two circuits a monostable mo a monostable stage and oscillator with the triple five now you see using the uh, analog analysis on a graph so again he just be take the analog graph from here in that way and now they put the probes that's the voltage probes double click on it and you see voltage probes okay he's, he just be give the name u1 probe okay u1 for for the just be uh, more conventional to remember it okay? and that's the output probe give him the name output uh, how they choose the probe simply come here and there is the voltage probe and there is the current probe so he just be simply place the voltage probe here this is the u1 and now place it here that's the u1 th so it's automatically fits the name from like the from the five triple five timer i see okay if you want to change the names double click on it and it is the u1 q and you say that output great so i just give him the name <coughs> out two okay for representation and this is the u1 th and i say two okay uh, because then i will understand how that's work and now we need to be linked with this analog analyzer right click on it and add a traces in the traces you need to be keep the first name so first name is like trigger and then output so um, now we go with the output first of all how do we want to be just represent the output graph that's the output so which probe 
so you see there are the all probes which are attached here in that simulation page in that canvas so now we use with the out two which this one okay out two we choose the out two and we click on okay the trace type analog it's already mentioned because that's the analog graph and click on okay so now it's automatically added so if you want to be changed the start time that's the start time is zero and stop time is one so you can change it 100 milli because it's graph and it's very long of zero to one minute zero to 100 milli okay now simply right click again and click on simulate the graph click on okay now that graph is simulated so if you run it after a first time you need to be run that circuit if you don't be run that circuit then you don't be uh, its graph is not simulated if first time when you run and you stop it then you easily simulate that graph again it's not problem so now that's our output that's our output you see that's our output okay now in that way uh, you can understand uh, how you can use the graphs uh, how you can use the graphical representation into the Proteus 9 so uh, I again click on it it's 100 milli I just be change it to the 10 milli again do it again right click on it it's automatically uh, there that's the 100 milli or 10 milli so that's the 10 milli okay that's the output so if I want to be add one more trace that is the u1 th uh, any trigger so we simply click on it add a trace name name u1 th and 2 choose the probe this one u1 th2 and again ok now simulate the graph you see that's the simulation that's the charging and discharging of capacitor this capacitor c2 this capacitor that's graph show the charging and uh, sorry that's graph only showing the uh, charging of this in that circuit how they charged okay now in that way you can uh, use the graphical representation in this in the in the proteus so um, after that you can save it out save the project as but if i'm using the trial version if you are using the trial version then you don't be save it that's the limitation so i hope so you like this video please like subscribe and share with your friend which want to be see how they can use the proteus 9 and if you have any kind of question related to proteus 9 and if you want i can create a video on it then please comment down and i try to be create a video on it so i see you next time